And good morning, folks. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. Finished work at the dairy this morning and then went over to casino. And usually I have breakfast over there and I talk to a few people, drink my coffee, and then take the $5 out and go play at the table. It's morning, so they don't put out the old dealers that have, I know all of them. And they put out the new recruits. And usually a young lady. I'm there for business. All right. First hour, I got comped for breakfast, which was good. Second hour, I made a little money. I call it quits and had breakfast because I showed them no teeth. I got broccoli, cream of broccoli soup. And then I had a uh, Reuben specially made for me, sauerkraut, uh, corn, corn, right, corn beef, no rye, uh, lettuce wrap, and it's all chopped up. It's like a little salad, but it's in a lettuce wrap, and it's easier for me to eat. No teeth, and just slice it up. And then after that, I went back to the table. So uh, thank you folks for donating to... Uh, this month's uh, food bank and food pantry. If you want to still donate, please do. Like I said, when I go into a casino, it's business. It's not there to get drunk. They've been offering me a lot of drinks, but I don't drink this early in the morning. So I go in there, play my game, have breakfast, chat, tip the dealer. Well, once I hit my point, I tell them I had a fun morning. It was great. Breakfast was great. Talked to the head of the uh, area, the guy who watches everything. Tell him you have a nice day, and I push my walker out of there. Okay? They, they see me like, oh, it's a little old retired guy. Probably an ex-businessman. All right? When you see somebody dressed like this, and not in a dirty t-shirt or typical retiree, baseball cap, three days growth of beard, and drooling over three beers at the card table, you know you're going to either lose money or you're going to make money. All right. Now, right now, a lot of you, this is just Uncle Alan's updates. A lot of you have no idea what's coming up. Prepare for the worst. A lot of you are going into dreams and madness stage right now. And you don't know what's going on. A lot of handicapped people, sorry, handicapped people, and disabled and elderly need to be woken up. Check out, oh God, sorry. Check out WD Rock and, Glock and Roll. He did a short about manipulation. Now you could do that on a Glock. I could do it with my right hand, that's not a problem. I prefer a Ruger uh, Security 6. I have a stroke issues in my left hand. That's why I shoot a Magnum. Now, if I get another Magnum, it's going to be a 44 Atacanda. I have now an Atacanda, but it's in 357 Magnum. My lady gun. All right, I have two styles. I have one with a pen different grip pancake grip is a little bigger than that because uncle Alan has trouble with the left hand and yes i could shoot both sides i could shoot right and left and when i'm really upset i'm shooting with the left that way your testicles go away all right that's your typical glock right there that you see on wd glock and roll like i said i like security six because if I uh, lose it or burn it or I sh shove it where it doesn't, sun don't shine and the cops like, gee, how in the hell that uh, Ruger 9mm gave him a, uh, uh, what's it called, enema now. And he's still alive. Like I said, know your tricks, know how, what you're doing, know how far you can shoot. A lot of you can't shoot more than 15 feet. Okay. Another portion is we're either sheep. I'm going with the herd. Or we have Eloy or unicorn people. 
La 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 la, it's a socialist paradise. Send me to North Korea. Or Venezuela. If you think that we'll take that million <coughs> Venezuela and we deport your uh, rioting, looting, greedy Eloy kids to Venezuela. See what really socialism work. Where's your grandchildren? On a slave gang. All right, back to the weather. All right, a lot of you... God, I'm getting a headache. Like I told you, it's an El Nino year. We're going to have either ex extreme cold in the northeast, drought and coldness, dry snow in the northern belt, northeast belt, uh, northwest belt. Okay, you just draw a line. You either get dry snow, drought, rain, flooding, everything. And down south, Texas and the Mississippi, you're having a drought right now. Okay, you should be very careful. First drought, next is flooding. Then back to drought again, next flooding. So I keep telling people, do you have a total evacuation plan? Well, we could bug out in our house. It's under 26 feet of water. All right, there's no bugging in under 26 feet of water. Know your evacuation plan. I keep thumping this into people and they say, I'll bug you out into the woods. Like that lady in Florida eaten by an alligator. Yeah, right. She was sleeping in a tent. Comp. Stop bugging out out there. All right. A lot of you don't have skills or training. All right. I have a camper. If I go out in the woods, I have a spot, put the camper there, camouflage everything, and I'm fine. Uncle Alan's getting too old. All right. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, if it's a regionalized disaster, I'm going to a nice five-star hotel with a swimming pool and good room service. This is you in the woods. I'm eating a squirrel. What are you having, Uncle Al? I'm having peas and mashed potatoes and, uh, what you call it? Filet mignon. What are you eating? I'm eating a squirrel over a fire. I have my liver action. And I kind of look at people. Okay, people with the little bottles of water. All right, David always say, that's good. But if you look over in Louisiana and New Orleans, people were buying gallon jugs and also all the little bottles of water. Drought, salt water intrusion into their drinking water supply. Mmm, how's that brackish? Oh, we've been drinking sewer water for the last three days? Yes. All right. So I tell a lot of people, I have to pound this into their heads. Okay. Intermediary bulk container. Go check out Cap Patton's family compound. Yes, several of them. I think because he lived near near a pickle factory. <sighs> Hate drilling. You can get this book on Amazon. Okay. It's simple. It's uh, what you call later in the afternoon. And I got a whole bunch of shots and pills I got to take. But know what your surrounding is. And remember... We're heading towards um, my future predictions. Let's see. Yeah. Number 10. Dreams and madness. Already in Philadelphia, you have people rioting. Well, if you see a group of people, we're protesting. No, you shoot them in the head. All right. Uncle Alan's not kidding around. I right, go tell him, go home. This is a quiet residential area. You're not getting any political benefit of protesting here. And they say, no, you shoot the first two in the nuts, and then you shoot the second two in the head. And if police come by and try to stop you, you shoot them. They should not be in your neighborhood. My local police knows my policy. 
on rioters and protesters. You can protest all you want at City Hall, but if you're near my house and near my neighborhood, all my neighbors agree with me, we're opening fire, and we're pretty good. I have them trained dead shots, and I'll slap the first one and use a handgun. It's carbines, rifles, and shotguns. All right? I see a bunch of boneheads. We have rifles and shotguns, and most of my friends are ex-military, ex-CIA, ex-FBI, a lot of retired three-letter guys and other agencies live around here. That's why we picked this area. All right? This area, we don't care what you think. We know where the cartels is, and we know where their home base is. So usually they leave us alone, we leave them alone. <coughs> they want to fight, we'll have a fight. But normally we let live. And you once in a while see a couple of yahoos dead on the side of the road or in somebody's cornfield or hog pen. Well, he kind of died in the hog pen. The hog ate him. We don't like you. All right? Stop coming out here from the Bay Area and L.A. Go back home. You can leave your money here. Get out of California. All right? If you live in the country, you have to be tough. And we won't take this bullshit. Sorry about the language. Now, if you live in L.A., you have to be careful. All right? This is why I tell a lot of people. All right? Make sure you got perfect evacuation plans. Oh, we could bug out and bug in. Or God knows what the hell they're doing. Really? Okay? I play card games for a living. Your chances in surviving in L.A. is depending what region of L.A. you're in. I'm talking the whole greater L.A. area. If power cuts out, if water cuts out, you're screwed. You're going to be dead within seven days. All right? The odds are against you. All right? I got a well. How long the well's going to run? All right? Think about that. I know the natural springs around L.A., One's in Malibu County, other one in certain areas, and one's in a chemical toxic waste site. It's like, God, people. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. Check out how these food forests permit culture. If you can, make a food food forest or a food bank. All right? It doesn't have to be big. And you, if you want to talk to your city council, if they have an undisturbed lot, Okay, or Little Park, you can make that into a walk around garden. You plant fruit and nut trees there because how is smart? I'm smart. Uh, fruit and nut trees and berry vines. All right, that adapts to your area. All right, if you like filberts, plant a lot of filberts in this little garden space. All right, it's not for green space. All right, where you just have lawns, that's a total waste of thing. But you have trees, flower beds, and edible fruit trees, nut trees, and vines. All right, just like the Romans did, except for the third and fourth century where they screwed up everything. All right, folks, I'll catch you later. You have a nice day, and I'll be seeing you.